Uh, thank you so much, G. And uh, of course, I think it's so important for all our kids in, indeed to get all the good stuff in. Now, moving over to a little bit of a, a shaky subject, a cold one perhaps now. Cyclone Eloise, which you've heard about, uh, made landfall in Mozambique around 2.30 a.m. on Saturday morning. Now, leaving in its wake a trail of devastation and flooding. And since then, it's made its way to South Africa and has started to wreak havoc in Limpopo with several roads and bridges which have been flooded. So to give us the latest breakdown in this developing story, we've actually reached out to Khola Maklangu, who is from the SA Weather Service on the line. Maklangu, how are you doing this morning? Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's so good to chat to you. Firstly, I want to make sure, are you safe? Are you all good out of the storm's way? Um, currently, we are safe here in Gauteng, um, especially there isn't anything significant to expect from the storm. Um, however, there's still some uh, storms or rather showers and thunder showers expected here and there um, over the eastern parts of the country. We are still expecting some localized flooding in places over the parts of Limpopo and um, also some flooding to be expected over the western parts of the Northwest province um, spreading into the central parts of the Free State province. Um, that storm is currently sitting over the southern parts of Botswana, and that's what's going to bring about the flooding today. All right, so I, I would imagine that this would mean that, uh, I, I believe the way they call it is, it's been downgraded to an overland depression, if that's correct, right? So what exactly does this mean and what sort of conditions can we expect? I mean, you're mentioning uh, various flooding in these, in these areas, but what does that mean exactly for, uh, for the guys that don't know? Um, for it to be downgraded into an uh, overland depression, it means that it had it had uh, weakened in strength in the past 24 hours. Um, from the moment it, uh, you know, tracked into Mozambique, moving all the way westwards, as it does that, it loses its strength. The wind speeds um, lose uh, intensity. So we're talking about wind speeds starting at about 160 kilometers per hour when it was still a cyclone. And now that is a tropical, um, well, well, overland depression, the wind speeds are somewhat below 60 kilometers per hour. And um, the last report had reported about uh, uh, 60 kilometers per hour over um, more over Botswana, the southern part of Botswana. Wow, that is some, some interesting stuff indeed. I mean, I've been in 60 kilometer per, per hour winds and that's already knocked me over now. Add another 100, I can't imagine <laughs> what that must be like. But can you tell me more about the yeah. amount of rainfall that has kind of impacted in Pumalanga and what has this resulted in? I mean, we're seeing all these crazy visuals, but from your side, what does it actually mean? Um, from yesterday, uh, yesterday's reports, we saw rainfall amounts above 100 millimeters of rainfall in places like Komati Darai, um, Nil Sprite, and um, Skukuza Kruger National Park. So those resulted in some uh, uh, significant damage. Really, um, roads collapsed, bridges. We're talking about trees being uprooted, people's homes being uh, damaged, and you know, cars floating, and um, you know, causing uh, disruptions in municipal services as well in places. So Mpumalanga, Limpopo, and the northeastern parts of KZN were badly affected uh, yesterday. Well, Sunday, going into yesterday, Monday. Uh, today, we're still looking at some uh, significant, you know, falls over some parts of Limpopo, and they should also try to uh, be cautious around flooded roads and flooded rivers and try, uh, by all means, to stay away from that if possible. Wow. Well, Holo, thank you so, so much for all this information. And I know a lot of Mzanzi might be a little bit uh, anxious and scared about this, but looking to the next few days, what does the SA Weather Service anticipate regarding the behavior of Eloise and what should the public maybe kind of be prepared for? Um, Eloise is tracking westwards. Um, that's what tropical systems do. So they track from east to west and uh, today it's sitting just above the border of the North 
province in uh, Botswana. So by tomorrow, it should be somewhat around Namibia. Mm -hmm. And as it tracks um, westwards, it will lose its intensity. And um, the like at the moment, we don't have any any warnings for other parts of South Africa except for possible flooding um, over the Northwest and um, the Free State. Mm -hmm. But then moving forward, we should just expect normal afternoon uh, summer mm -hmm. thunderstorms that we usually get over the country. So we're looking at thunderstorms coming through in the afternoon after 2 p.m. in most parts there in the east and also the central parts of the country. Uh, well, Mzanzi, we can rest easy, of course. It sounds like Northwest might be taking in a bit of a hit for the rest of the country. It looks like things are getting better and we might have weathered the storm. And there's no doubt exceptional weather conditions that have hit the country's northern areas are exactly that. And we're sending our thoughts to all those that are affected by this current situation. And also, again, Kholo, I want to thank you so, so much for sharing your wisdom with us and making us feel a little bit safer knowing that uh, the information we have is actually correct. It's only my pleasure. Uh, thank you. Have a beautiful day. And the rest of Zanzi, we're urging you all in the areas that are being affected to stay indoors and, of course, stay safe.